Direct gas impingement is often used as a term to describe the AR-15, however it is not actually the system that that firearm uses. Direct gas impingement is a discrete operating system that has actually only been used on a few distinct firearms, most significantly the French MOS-40 through MOS-4956 series. The system is very simple. There is a gas block that taps gas off of the barrel when the gun is fired. There is then a long gas tube that directs that gas back to the bolt carrier, where the tube ends and vents that gas directly into the bolt carrier. What distinguishes this from a gas piston is that there is no sealed chamber here where the gas enters. This is simply a blind hole. Gas is blown directly from the gas tube into the bolt carrier. This is distinct from a blowback system because the gas is operating on the bolt carrier and not the bolt face itself. This allows the system to have a fully locked breech which only unlocks when the bolt carrier cycles backward independent of the bolt head. This can't happen in a blowback system, and that's why direct gas impingement is coupled with a locked breech system. Direct gas impingement is an extremely simple system, although not one uh, that lends itself to a lot of configurability or adjustability. It has been seen only in production rifles, not shotguns or handguns, and only in a few rifles at that. We'll cover the AR-15 system in a future video on how it's distinct from actual direct gas impingement, but hopefully this has answered some of your questions. I'm Ian McCollum for Forgotten Weapons, thanks for watching.